Hello everyone, today we are going to speak about science and technology. The theme of our lesson is Square Eyed Teens. Look at the learning objectives and assessment criteria. You have to understand and learn new vocabulary about science and technology. Practice to write an essay using specific vocabulary and evaluate the level of your knowledge on the theme of the lesson through reflection questions. And the first task of our lesson is think. Are you a screen major or not? Write some sentences giving reasons. Ok, go on. Now we have to study new words. Listen, repeat and write down these new words. Подключать, соединять. Connect. Скачивать, загружать. Download. Входить. Log on. Выключить свет, приборы. Switch off. Выйти из системы. Log out. Устанавливать, монтировать. Install. Опубликовать, выкладывать, загружать. Upload. Выдернуть вилку из розетки, отключить. Unplug. Okay, and now use this new vocabulary and fill in the gaps. Okay, and today we'll study the phrasal verbs. Come about or to happen. For example, how did this problem come about? Come across, to find or meet by chance. For example, Sarah came across her old tin diary while she was cleaning out her desk. Come down to, to be the only remaining factor when deciding on something. In the end, my choice of laptop will come down to the price. Come down with, to become ill. Came down with the flu last weekend. Come off to be successful. For example, Paul's plan seemed good, but unfortunately I didn't come off. Come out to become available to the public. Kate's new novel is coming out next month. I can't wait to read it. Come up to, to approach. The, the chief came up to the woman quietly from behind and grabbed her back. Come up with, to think of a solution answer, for example. We have to come up with a clever idea to solve this problem. And now, listen, repeat and write down these phrasal verbs. Происходить, случаться, возникать. Происходить, случаться, возникать. Come about. Натолкнуться на, случайно встретить. Come across. Come down with. Come down to. Выходить, появляться, возникать. Получаться. Come out. Отделяться, отрываться, покидать, сходить, слезать. Come off. 
Входить. Come up to. Придумывать, разрабатывать. Come up with. And now do exercise number six using phrasal verbs come. Choose the correct particles. Okay, good job. And today we'll review prepositions. Page number 105, exercise number 7. Fill in the gaps. In, to, with, on. I give you some minutes. And the next task is listening. Now you listen some information about technologies. You must listen and match the speakers. One, Rupert. I couldn't believe it really. I left my hometown after college and I've lived abroad ever since. Of course, I lost contact with all my own schoolmates. You know, I've been so busy working, and time goes by so quickly, that I never found the time to go back. Then one day, one of my colleagues suggested I sign up for one of these social networking sites. I never imagined the rest. Suddenly, I was getting messages from these guys I went to school with 30 years ago. I couldn't believe they even remembered me, not to mention search for me online. Two. Judith, in the beginning I found it really hard to do. It seemed like my fingers were huge or something, and it really annoyed me. After a while, though, I kind of got the hang of it, and I came to really enjoy it, because it allowed me to be in constant touch with my friends. Before I knew it, I was sending up to a hundred or more a day, mostly gossip, to be honest. And in the end, it was like I just had to share everything that went through my mind. I used to wake up in the middle of the night wanting to text people. People started getting annoyed with me, so I had to do something. I guess I understood that I needed help. 3. Jenna Well, I have to admit that I spend a few hours a day using one of my many gadgets. During the day, I mostly use my smartphone. It's got everything. Music, video, internet, email, and even GPS. I use the GPS a lot when I'm out. When I get home, I usually switch on my laptop to listen to music, but I'm not always glued to the screen. I check my emails every now and again, and I might chat online for a while or watch some music videos. So I suppose you could say I am a screenager if you like, but for me, that's pretty normal for my age. 4. Samuel I'm not going to lie. I have chatted in the past but only to see what it was all about. When I'm online, I'm usually surfing, you know, just checking out sites and reading stuff. I like reading up on history, and I love reading travel blogs, but I'm definitely not keen on all those gossip or networking sites. If I need to get in touch with a friend, I usually send them a text. Yeah, I'd say I'm more of a text person, and even then, only when I need to. Five, Hannah. I don't understand why everyone is making such a fuss. I mean, everyone should choose what they want to do in their own free time. And I don't see where the problem is if I don't like going out. Besides, lots of kids like to spend time in their bedroom. And it's not like I'm doing anything wrong. I mean, I do my homework and I don't have any problems at school. So where's the problem? 
even if I spend all night online. I wish people would just leave me alone. I don't need them telling me how I should live my life. Again, the last task, write a short essay. How do you communicate with friends? Describe how you use technology and what types of gadgets you use to communicate with your friends. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.